Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Malko, and I'm the leader of the Electric Motorcycle Project. So, what we are doing in this uh, project is we got the Yamaha 1986 Yamaha uh, FZ600 sport bike uh, from our friend Sean that donated it to us like two months ago. And what we're doing is uh, we're making this motorcycle electric. So, we, we've done so far, we um, the condition of the motorcycle was much worse and like in two months we cleaned up the rust from the whole motorcycle, painted the frame and made it look more nice. Um, the long term goals for our project are to uh, make the motorcycle the mo as efficient as possible while ma maintaining uh, very high performance, which means uh, have, having, uh, being able to achieve and maintain high speeds uh, have a decent average range of around around like 50 miles and be very safe to ride and have faster ch charging techniques which Asna will discuss, discuss later. And we are doing this project because this is more efficient than regular internal, internal combustion engine cars. This is much better for environment because no CO2 emissions and this is a learning process. And now I would like Aslan to talk about progress we made so far. Hi everyone, my name is Asan Casey. I'm the Vice President of Organization of the STEM Club. And today I'm going to be talking about the progress that we've made in this uh, Summer 1 internship with STEM. So uh, as of last semester, our, our goal was to construct our own uh, motor using 3D printing with the help of uh, Cosm a little bit. Uh, but after a while we realized that that's going to take too much time and it's going to cost too much money. So what we decided to do was to shift from making our own motor and making our basically, uh, basically all of our own components uh, to purchasing everything uh, from, from the web and constructing the motorcycle and focusing on the motorcycle as a whole instead of, the, instead of just the motor. So we purchased our, our motor, we purchased the batteries. Uh, being that the wheels on the chain were from 1984, 1986, they're a little over 30 years old, so we had to replace the wheels, we had to replace the old rusty chain. And we also purchased a whole bunch of electronics uh, for the battery management system, for the controlling, uh, and just for overall safety and making sure that the, that the motor doesn't accelerate too much or decelerate too much. Um, and what we're doing right now, as of uh, today and yesterday, uh, is learning about the, the charging mechanisms. So level one charging would be just a basic, you know, plug into the wall and wait eight to nine hours overnight. And, you know, if, you're, if you go to sleep for eight, eight hours a night, then, you know, I guess that's good for you. But, you know, us STEM majors, you know, we don't always get eight hours of sleep. So level one charging <laughs> isn't always uh, too helpful. Uh, so level two charging would be kind of like what, what Tesla uses and what a lot of electric vehicles use today, where it's like this big, uh, this big port and it would get us to, to full capacity in about two to three hours. So we're trying to integrate that, we're still doing a little bit of research, and I'm gonna pass it on to Jingle now, who's gonna be talking about the assembly and overall design of the motorcycle. Yes, well, as you can see, we have a very elementary design right <laughs> now. We're still in the brainstorming uh, phases of this uh, design. So basically, this red circle will be where the motor will be. We're gonna build our own custom mounts because the motor was initially up here, at the internal combustion engine. This red box is going to represent the container for our battery. We're going to maximize as much space as we can to fit as many batteries as possible. It's going to be most likely an irregular shaped container. We redesigned the whole top of the uh, motorcycle. As you can see, the seat is extended more because I used to ride a motorcycle when I used to clench my knees around the gas tank. It would be very uncomfortable over long periods of time. So we added like a little cushion here. And then we added this little, kind of like it's going to mimic the gas tank. What it's supposed to do is suck in air to cool the batteries in the, uh, the motor. We're also working on right now choosing a material that's going to be the cover of the motorcycle. We're going to try to make it in, suck in as much air as possible to cool the batteries and the motor as much as we can. Um, now I'm going to pass it on to Paddy to talk more about our, uh, our blog pro the process. Hello, my name is Patricia and I want to show you guys our website. It's a little more presentable and well mainly because Blogger wasn't really working on our laptop. so. Yeah. The photo behind here is the current state our motorcycle is in. And if you scroll down, you have a little abstract of what we are, which Misha explained previously. And a link to our blog, which I will get to in one second. And a little summary about our mission and the overall reason why this project was started. Also, a section. <laughs> 
of Meet the Crew where you can see a lovely high quality photo of Mr. Mark over here. I have a mentor. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're going to replace all the photos. You don't have to go through the rest. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll admit those details. <laughs> so the first thing you'll see here is our mentor's name, his availability, our meeting days, our meeting time, and the meeting location. Right below this are all our posts. We try to post as frequently as possible. We've mainly been posting every... Almost every day. Don't yeah. worry, we're going to post one more today. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> before you ask. And we also have a frequently asked question.